While many great heroes like Anna, Magnus, and Silas rose up to fight against the threats of Supreme Calamitous and Raiden, there was another threat that had been left unchecked. A giant idol and worm at the deepest chasm of the abyss grew ever more powerful. The worm's colossal movements continually eroded away at the abyss until even the demons in their underworld cities could hear the movement of the worm. With each crashing sound, the fear of the underworld being destroyed by a flood became closer to reality. In response, the brimstone elemental gathered the demons of the underworld together to find a champion capable of defeating the idol and worm and saving the underworld. However, demons aren't just willing to venture to the surface, let alone enter the depths of the abyss. Except for one ambitious demon named Danny. She wasn't the strongest or the fastest, but she was brave, and she was willing to fight to defend her demon friends and her home. This is the story of Danny the Demon. Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Calamity Let's Play episode. We are playing as Danny the Demon, and this is episode one. We just created a new world. I actually had a funny glitch where when I created the world, it started off with a queen bee attacking me. I think something in the mod broke one of the bee summons and it was like flying towards me. So I had to close out, reload. But here we are and here is our new character. This is going to be such a fun playthrough. It's going to be a melee calamity playthrough. And this is in Terraria 1.4 Journey's End um, using T-Mod Loader. So we're going to see all the stuff that we haven't seen since, what was it, like middle of 2020 when it all came out. And I only played a little bit of Journey's End, so I actually forgotten a lot of it. And I'm excited to give it all a try. So like I do with all my series, I've created a character with special vanities. So we're using the Devil Horns painted black and white. We've got the Gladiator Breastplate, red and black. And we've got Red's Leggings, also red and black. And then we've got the Betsy wings, and that's painted silver, but you can see they're not in our accessory slot, so we can't actually fly. We can only jump the normal height. So it's already midday in the game, so we probably need to get going and open our starter bag. Sweet, we got a copper broadsword. We'll put that on instead of our copper short sword. And then we've got a mana crystal. Ooh, a pinky already. That's pretty lucky. With the exception of the last few episodes of the Silas the Summoner playthrough, I haven't played much Calamity recently, and they've done a lot of updates. So definitely give me some suggestions and let me know if there's stuff that's changed that I should keep a lookout for in this playthrough. I might film a little bit farther ahead than I used to, so don't worry about giving advice like, you know, several episodes ahead. And also don't worry about spoilers or anything. I'm totally fine with you saying, you know, there's a special weapon you get from this boss, because I'd rather uh, not miss any cool weapons, you know? I'm also probably going to be looking at some guides and making sure that I try to get some of the optimal gear. I've seen some of the resprites and reworks for the swords in this game, and they look so cool. Man, we already got some pink gel. Very cool. So Malice Mode is apparently still around, although I think it's about to be uh, phased out. So what I'm going to do for this series is turn on Revengeance. Um, and I think I'm also going to turn on Death Mode. So honestly, we have a great spawn right here because we've got a cave just to the right. And so this makes it much easier to explore. We don't have to do any digging. And let's see if our vein miner works. Excellent. Got some iron ore real fast there. Yeah, some of the mods we've got on this playthrough are vein miner. And the Calamity, of course, Calamity Extra Music. We've got a Louis AFK uh, mod. I don't think it's the original Louis AFK, but it's a similar one. Whoa, what was that thing? Was that a gnome? So something like that gnome, I'm not sure if that's from Calamity or if that's something from 1.4. Ooh, I already have Rage. Yes, take that. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Ah! There's lots of new stuff to 1.4 and I haven't really followed any of the Journey's End stuff because I'm so into modded. 
So I don't actually know like what things have been added since I last played it back in 2020. Uh oh. More enemies. I love that this sword has enough knockback to keep me pretty safe with these entry level mobs. One thing I need to do though is craft some of these wood platforms. Uh oh. <laughs> oh man. That was weird. Sounded like I did a teleport. It ported me back to spawn instead of respawning. Not sure what the deal is with that. So what is this thing right here? And it's come up a few times when I place a torch. Oh man, we gotta get deeper. We're gonna get swarmed by enemies down here. So something I believe Calamity's changed since I last played is that they've removed the death mode, like added darkness. And I'm really happy about it because when you're filming Terraria videos, the last thing you want is for it to be extra dark because then it just makes it harder for the viewers to see, especially if they're watching on mobile or something like that. So yeah, that was something that they removed. And I also learned that they removed the heat and cold stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and use rage and see if we can do some good damage here. That's actually pretty good. Four amethyst, nice. Okay, this is going to be a bit tricky. Got to just get around here and maybe put up a little wall. Block ourselves in so we don't have to worry about fighting those mobs for a little bit. Now that we have access to Journey's End modded content, I do have the option to play in Classic or Journey mode. And for this playthrough, I chose to do just the normal mode. I've actually never tried playing in Journey's mode, but I figured I would just stick with what I know for now. But maybe in future series, we'll try something in Journey mode. It's kind of fun to circle back and see that the mobs have despawned over here. You can pick up those teleport potions. Uh oh. Oh no, I didn't even see. I was poisoned there. Uh oh. <laughs> Man, I am struggling here. This monster is so scary. Okay. Do some damage. Ooh, a, go a gold portal. No, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I got to grab that gold. Let's get back to base. Put the gold away. <laughs> and while we're at it, we can put a whole bunch of stuff away. <laughs> no wonder I've been having a hard time. My quick potion was linked to something different. So every time I tried to use a potion, it was just like nothing was happening. Well, that will be a big benefit. Looks like there's a different tunnel over here that we haven't gone down yet. And we got a bunch of mobs though. Yeah, no thank you. 55 damage per swing. Not good. Oh no. <laughs> I did not see the trap for that. Ooh, we got our first fallen star. And they look super cool. I've forgotten about how cool these stars look. So I'm just gonna use some bombs to quickly get some stone. And now we should be able to craft a furnace and all that stuff. So I just went ahead and put up a little house. For the first episode, I like to just start playing and then I usually do a nice custom build for like the second or third episode. So for now, let's just focus on getting some materials. Um, let's see, we could do a crafting table. Now we can craft a furnace and smelt some iron and do an anvil. And as you can see here, we've got our magic storage installed. Uh, we've got a bunch of quality of life mods like magic storage. We've got Louis AFK, Alchemist NPC, Vein Miner, and I think a few others. Pretty much all the normal mods that I play with, I'm playing with again on this playthrough. And of course we've got our favorite mod, which is the recipe browser. So that is good. We have to figure out all these new recipes. So just for the start of the game, I'll craft some wooden armor. It's not going to do much. It gave us three defense, but anything we can get 
is pretty helpful right now. Oh my gosh, this thing does not have much knockback. Or I guess it's immune to knockback. So this world is an expert world. I didn't choose master mode because I think, I don't know, expert with death mode should be difficult enough for me, at least at this point. Wow, I forgot how cool all these new different trees and all of the effects that they added in 1.4 look. It just makes the game all that much more interesting. Oh, but we have to use a axe on the cactus. Although these cactus chop pretty quick. Uh-oh. Oh, we just had a proficiency level up. Nice. And we got some rage. That will come in handy for sure. We got two desert feathers so fast. I think it was in the Silas series that I needed those and it took forever. Although we probably need to be quite careful because the desert is going to be very difficult. I remember in the Wendy series, that was our 1.4 series, the desert really <laughs> has become a lot harder. Oh, we have our first oasis with dragonflies. Oh, so beautiful. I love the color of this water. Oh, a scorpion. All sorts of cactus, flowers. Love it. Another cave. Might as well check it out. Oh, and we're already to the jungle. Feels like this map is kind of small, to be honest. I think I chose a medium world, though. So it should be the similar size. Almost every playthrough I've done, I've always chose medium. Okay, well, I think I'm going to head back to base. I don't know which mod makes me teleport super fast like that, but that's really nice. Okay, but before we go, let's craft a new sword. Yeah, we'll go with a nimble sword. Then we just toss all these other ones. So I found some sunflowers back there. And I am going to go ahead and place a few sunflowers right here. That way we don't have this area spread over into our spawn point. And I think probably just go down into a cave again. We're pretty much locked in here because we got the jungle and the crimson area right near us. I also wanted to mention that we're going to do another build contest for this series. How it works is all explained on the Discord. Basically, for this series, I'm thinking of having an NPC base in the underworld. I think the event will run for about a week or so, and then I'll add the build to my world. So good luck to everybody, and I'm definitely excited to take a look at some of the builds later on. And if you want to see the builds as well, go check it out on the Discord. And we got our first house. Very cool. Perfect. Hermes boots right off the bat. Our first accessory as well. Uh oh. No. <laughs> I just caved in a bunch of sand. I am dying so much this series, but it's fine. I just need to be super careful. I'm so used to end game characters that don't have fall damage that I've already died a few times just by jumping when I'm going down these tunnels. Okay, here we go. Throw a bunch of torches down. Scope this area out. So that is a very suspicious looking chest. Wonder if it's a mimic. I can't imagine there'd be a mimic early game. Why is there a chest just sitting there? Well, I guess we can use these guarding spike shoes. Extra two defense and a little bit of an ability to grab onto walls and such. It's always nice. So I'm just gonna backtrack and kind of take the areas that go up and down from the minecart track. It's a pretty easy way to grab a whole bunch of resources without having to mine. Well, that's new. <laughs> I was just, oh no. I thought it was gonna take a while for me to respawn. Uh, what is going on? I'm just trying to mind my own business here, and the enemies are basically just invading my base, even though I have a door. 
So I guess I'm just gonna have to keep my door locked. Throw some torches around here too. And I'll keep on crafting. Here's a nice upgrade. We can do a silver broadsword. Oh, and it rolled legendary. Nice. That's gonna be much better than this cactus. Go ahead and use rage. There we go. Some damage. Oh, and there's also uh, weapons out. So we got our sword that hangs on our waist there. I didn't use weapons out for the Silas series because, I don't know, the summons, I think it was something about the way it looked. It wasn't my favorite, but I love the way swords look. Okay, we've got some powerful mobs down there. I'm gonna go ahead and just activate Rage, see if I can do any damage. Oh no. <laughs> Those things do way too much damage for me. I'm just gonna have to run away. Uh oh, spider. Not good, not good. I didn't realize spiders could come down. No! Okay, we've got a shackle. Perfect. It gives us three defense. I thought it was one defense. We just found our first life crystal, and we have one right across the room. And we have one of these amethyst guys. This might be the last bit of amethyst that we need, because we've been picking up a decent amount of that. There we go, finally some more health. Oh, and even more amethyst right there. And we've got a mushroom biome and a minecart. This is actually a pretty cool looking mushroom house. I don't think I've ever seen mushrooms biomes built this way. Yeah, is this like a new thing in 1.4 or in one of the mods? Because I have never seen such big mushroom rooms. We've got a mushroom hat vest and pants that's like straight from mario and a cloud in a bottle excellent this is so cool i love all these things that i'm seeing that i've never seen before oh and there's one of the shrines that gives us uh one of those special calamity items they've got a shrine in most biomes and you can pick them up right from the get-go oh my goodness we have a fungal symbiote this is awesome. So this says various melee weapons emit mushrooms in the true melee range. True melee strikes deal 15% more damage. That's incredible. Oh my goodness. It's like we have one of those mushroom weapons now. So many good things in this biome. Oh wow. <laughs> that jellyfish <laughs> demolished me. And there we go. We can do the amethyst hook now. Excellent. I think this is the first playthrough that I've not had to do any real digging. We just got so many tunnels. We've got another one of those little green fairies. Let's see if we can follow it. Is it telling us about this house right here? Oh, I guess it is. Oh no. <laughs> that was close. And we got another cloud in the bottle. Oh, this is weird. We have an underwater chest just sitting right here. So a trident, nice. And we have sandcastle bucket. Hmm, cool. Oh dear, so many slimes. And a flare gun, nice. Not my favorite drop, but we'll take it. Well, we got a demonic shroomer ring. Sweet. I didn't even notice that. Um, how does that compare? Okay, it's pretty similar. More critical damage. Okay, it's not that much bigger or better than our wooden boomerang, but still pretty cool. And we might as well craft a little bit of silver armor. We can at least get two pieces. And I think what I might do now, it's daytime, so let's head over to the desert and explore just a little bit. Here we go. 
I'm looking for some Wolfram enemies. Because that's the next upgrade I think we need. It'd be nice to get some Wolfram armor before we fight our first bosses. Ooh, a jungle turtle. Very cute. I guess this is probably the best place to farm Wolfram right now. They're spawning pretty quickly. The only problem is these jungle slimes. Kind of tricky. Ooh, we got a treasure. A little portal right there. We gotta get back to base before we die. Maybe we'll kill a few more monsters. Oh, well, we got warding climbing claws. Even better. Uh oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna head back to base. I'm pushing my luck right now. Ooh, here we go. We got one of those little pylons, and it gave us two energy cores. That means we can start crafting some armor now. Excellent. And there's the last one we need. I think we only need like uh, three cores to make the full armor set. So we got the Wolfram armor, and then we need the melee damage helmet, and the legs. And now let's see what this does. We've got 15 defense and our damage is 18. We went up to 16 and our damage is 19. And it says that the set bonus says enemies are more likely to target you. We get extra defense and we get plus five defense when below 50% life. That's pretty cool. And I think that's actually a great place to end this first episode. We've got a whole bunch of stuff ready to go. Like we've got a legendary silver broadsword. That was a nice drop. And then now we've got Wolfram armor. We've already got a full set of accessories. We've got the fungal symbiote, the cloud in a bottle, a shackle, climbing claws, and Hermes boots. We're actually pretty well set up. All I need is a good boomerang or maybe like a star fury or any sword really that does some range and we'll be able to defeat the Eye of Cthulhu pretty soon. Well, I hope you're enjoying this series. It's going to be so much fun. Melee is one of my favorite classes and it's been so long since I've played Melee in Calamity. It was actually my first playthrough it was a Melee playthrough of Calamity and that was before I had a YouTube channel. We're going to get going with some boss fights next episode. It's going to be a ton of fun. I might build a little bit of a base in between episodes and get that put in here. Um, so hopefully that'll turn out well. And like always, if you're enjoying the content, be sure to like and subscribe. I also have lots of other Terraria series that you can check out. My most recent one that I finished was Silas the Summoner, a Calamity series. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.